can you recall which organ systems do you see in the figure alongside students here in this figure alongside we can see respiratory system digestive system muscular system and skeletal system in the previous classes we have learnt about some organ systems their functions and their locations in our body with the help of that complete the following table students here is the table in this table first column is their name of the organ second column function of the organ and third column is body cavity body cavity that means the place where these organs are located inside the body first organ is heart function of the heart is blood circulation it is located in thoracic cavity second organ is lungs function of the lungs is respiration it's also located in thoracic cavity third organ is intestines function of the intestine is digestion and absorption it is located in abdominal cavity fourth organ is brain function of the brain is control and coordination and it is located in cranial cavity the various organs are safe within the body cavity the human skeleton is a protective shell for all the internal organs sometimes when we fall while playing or have an accident a bone in our arm or leg may get broken this is called a fracture of the bone a fracture in a bone causes severe and unbearable pain and the part with the broken bone swells immediately can you tell your friend meets with an accident and a bone in his leg is fractured how will you help after an accident prevent any movement of the fractured part immobilize it and get immediate medical help immobilize that means not to move keep it constant at one place after going to the hospital an x ray image is taken of the part which is swollen x rays were discovered by william conard rankton an x ray image shows whether a bone is broken and also the exact spot where it is broken this helps in providing the proper treatment let's try this let's identify our bones place your hand at the center of your chest and your friend's back what is the name of the hard part you feel on placing your hand on your chest the name of the hard part is sternum do you feel some hard bumps on the back what are they called students you will feel hard bumps on the back they are called vertebrae what difference do you noticed between the bones of the back and those of the chest the bones of the back are irregular while the bone of the chest is flat the human skeletal system all the bones in our body are not of the same shape every bone is different all the bones together form a framework or skeleton the skeleton gives a shape to the body all the bones of the body along with cartilage together form the skeletal system bones are hard they are not flexible bones are composed of two main constituents bone cells are biotic while calcium carbonate calcium phosphate minerals and salts are the abiotic constituents of bones calcium impart strength to the bones the system which gives a definite shape 
to the body provides support and protects the delicate organs inside the body is the skeletal system types of bones bones of our body are classified into four types first one is flat bones these bones are flat second one small bones these bones are very small in size third one is irregular bones where the shape of this bone and the size is irregular and fourth one is long bones where these bones in length are very long as compared to other bones in the body can you tell can you identify the animals from the pictures of their skeletons students here i can understand that the first picture it is of domestic dog skeleton second one it is flying dinosaur third one it's a fish and fourth one is the skeleton of snake try these take a measuring tape and measure the length of the bones of your arms and legs do the same for your friend sister or brother record the measurements in the table below and compare them